Hey there, it's Dr. John DeGarmo with the Foster Care Institute Tip of the Week. And this week we're looking at one old-fashioned way to help children who suffer from mental health issues. And that is by, you guessed it, sitting around the dinner table. Now we've all heard about how dinner time is a time that is escaping families, that families are just too busy today to sit around the table together as a family eating dinner. Yet that is so important for today's children, whether they're your own biological children or children in foster care that you're caring for in your home. So try to find times throughout the week to sit down at a dinner table, no TV, no computers, no homework, no books, no cell phones, no tablets, nothing, just each other. For you, maybe it's uh, five times a week, maybe it's seven times a week, maybe it's three times a week, but try to find time throughout the week ideally every single night, to sit down together as a family. And there's a few things you can do while you're seeing the family. You open up with discussion, and you engage discussion throughout the meal, and you ask open-ended questions of the children, not questions that end with yes or no. Questions like, what was the best part of your day today? What is one thing that made you laugh today? What's something that you learned about today? What's something that made you sad or frustrated you today? These type of questions, again, are open-ended questions that allow the child to think and engage in conversation. Now, this does a number of things. It builds communication skills. It builds attachment. It builds trust. It builds relationships. Most likely, some of these kids who have been placed in your home have never had these type of meals or these types of conversations. Again, this is a time to build trust and relationship and communication skills and social skills. But perhaps it's also a time for you to take a pulse, if you will, of that child to see how they're doing, to see how they're doing emotionally, to see if there's any mental health issues that you need to be concerned about, to see if there's any red flags, so to speak, that you should be concerned about and investigate further. And maybe most importantly, it's building memories. It's building memories for these children. So find time each week to sit down at a table, put that phone away, and engage in conversation. And I bet everybody is going to enjoy it. For more about this, check out the Foster Care book, The Foster Care Survival Guide with a lot more tips. For the Foster Care Institute, I'm Dr. John DeGarmo. Now plan a great meal and maybe include me, invite me over.